What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So we're back again with another tier list video. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you the top five builds for Druid going into Season 4 of Diablo 4. Now, I do want to tell you that right off the bat that this is just strictly my opinion. It's best guess. This is a combination, again, of all the data that we've kind of collected as a community. And we don't really know going in, although we have a pretty good idea of what are the best builds. And as much as a, I'm a Sork main, Druid is probably my next favorite class until the devs finally give my rogue multi-shot. I will die on that hill forever. Okay. But until then, we're going to make this tier list for the top five builds for Druid in Season 4. So, starting off with the very first build, which I'm sure you guys all know, is Warnado, Druid Tornado, Wolfnado, Wolfie with a little bit of gust in their back pockets, okay? This build is insane. It's been one of the strongest, if not the strongest, Druid build and one of the strongest builds in the game since probably season one when we first got this together this build has not fallen off whatsoever the build has been very 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 consistent all you got to do is get tempest roar and then you are off to the races and now with the changes to some of the gear as well as tempering manuals this build is just going to be even stronger okay this was probably the first big build that I played outside of Pulverize, I used Pulverize to level, and then I endgamed with Wolf Nato, and this build was just insane. Super, super fast, super, like, very, very strong, can clear out great AoE damage, and then single target damage is through the roof. So, Wolf Nato is at the top. Next on the list, guys, um, I really like this build, okay? It's these two put together, right? It's the boulder hurricane build where like boulder and hurricane are together as one and the build just does an insane amount of damage although there is a few variations between both the builds like there's a straight boulder build which is strong excuse me in a hurricane build but that is strong but these two combined is one of my favorite builds in the game super tanky there's only one really small issue that i have with the build and that is the distance of the boulders that i really hope that they do fix in season four where like you have to be two feet back for the boulders to hit that are going on your hurricane which is odd because i, I talk about this all the time where as bold lightning which is just the same size maybe they're slightly smaller than a boulder if you're right on top of a enemy with ball lightning all the ball lightnings hit but Boulder does not work that way. You have to have that gap, that like two steps. So I hope that that's fixed. But either way, the build is insanely strong. Okay. There's a lot of pieces that go with this, but I really do enjoy this build. Next is one that got a big buff last season in season three, which is going to be Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm is super powerful. Uh, great AOE damage. You're going to be able to clear a lot of mobs. One of the biggest issues with the build, in my opinion, is just... You're, you're kind of slow, right? Because you move, stop, kill stuff. Move, stop, jazz hands. Move, stop, jazz hands. And then, like, you're, like, kind of slow in that regard. So if you're not one-shotting them with your lightning strikes, you're kind of just jazz hands until they die. And then you're moving. Whereas, like, Tornado is just, like, throwing Nados or Hurricane is just, you're just kind of moving and killing things. Um, so you're just a little bit slower, but the build is very, very satisfying. Seeing all the lightning strikes hit such a wide net of monsters. Like, the build is very, very good. We've been waiting a long time, and we finally got the big buff to Lightning Storm in Season 3. So this is very, very good. Um, with that said, though, I really do wish we weren't able, like, we didn't have to just stop and jazz hands every time we call down lightning. I just think it should be... Kind of like you can call it and just move, but you're channeling it, which is kind of a thing. So it's just weird, but still really enjoy the build. Last and certainly not least, guys, is one of my favorite builds ever, and that is Pulverize. Okay, this was the very first build that I played in Diablo 4. It is one of the best leveling builds in the game for Druid. Super, super tanky. Can move really, really fast. Overpower is insane. You're unstoppable all the time. 
However, it's down the list because Banished Lord's Talisman's got a huge nerf by 50%. Huge nerf. Instead of 120, you're doing 60. It sucks. I don't understand. I'm not a dev. Maybe I'm just a dumb gamer or a dumb streamer. But I don't know why we went two seasons. Basically, season one, season two, preseason, beta, alpha, open beta, alpha, pregame, get to play the game before it's even in alpha, or, you know, alpha, beta, and overpower never changed. And then the devs go, we want more overpower. And then we buff overpower for less than a season. And then we go, you know what? Nah, man, that's too good. Let's nerf overpower, but not only nerf it, let's nerf it and make it worse than it was when the game was originally out. That I don't understand. Maybe you guys can answer that down in the comments below. Please let me know. But even with all that said, Pulverize is still one of my favorite Druid builds in the entire game. So guys, uh, last and certainly not least, and we do have some honorable mentions here because Druid is probably has one of the biggest build varieties in the game. So last but certainly not least is going to be Shred, okay? I'm making the 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 stamp. I'm doing the definitive decision here. I'm the judge, jury, and executioner. I'm putting Shred here, okay? Shred is super, super strong, all right? You're very, very fast. You're killing everything. Yes, I know that they did nerf the Poison Shred. They did nerf the double, triple, quadruple dip. That you could do so you could do like a hundred kajillion damage to to the uber bosses and one shot stuff but the build is still very very strong you can still do the the dashes you're just not doing as much you're not you're not triple dipping you're not even double dipping i don't know maybe you're still double dipping in some way but the build is incredibly strong fastest build that the druid has uh wolf nato is very close to keeping up with this but the fact that you can dash from mob to mob is super strong all right, so this build is still very, very good. I think it's going to be down here kind of like with Pulverize. Lightning Strike is probably up here, and then this is how this would be. Um, now, let's get into a few honorable mentions here. You do have, shout out to my boy Screamheart, you do have the basic attack build with the Staff of the Karani, Staff of the Crones, Crones Birds, whatever that staff is called. You got that basic attack build, which is super, super strong. And then I do want to add in one more additional honorable mention and that is going to be companions man all right companions got 100 percent buff of all your character stats this season in season four right and then on top of that they did give the companions an initial buff again just to try to make us use them i don't think it's going to be good in the end game however i do think that this build is going to be um like pretty strong as far as like a leveling build which i think will be pretty cool um you guys will have to let me know about that but as much as I want to see Druid have a little bit of some kind of companions or something to do with that, to like utilize all of them, the ravens, the poison creep, and the wolves, you can just kind of run around, just sit back and let nature do its thing. I don't think Druid is really designed that way. We have we have necrominions for that. Like let that be that and let the companions just be like an aid to you as the druid as opposed to being the the like the force of your character right like the damage right i think they're trying to go that way and i don't think it should be that way they should just be an aid to you as the druid nature just kind of aids the druid in all these ways so but I, I do think the build is going to be a nice leveling build but with that said guys these are going to be my top five builds for druid going into season four i think it's pretty good we got some other cool stuff like landslide trample slide right we got some really cool stuff here um Outside of that, there's not really much else for Druid. But again, if I miss something, let me know down in the comments below. Shout it out. Tell me about the build. Maybe, you know, show it to me. Get get in the Discord and let me know. I'm really excited to see how much build variance we're going to have going into Season 4. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to be my top five builds for Druid in Season 4. Make sure to like the video. Let's get this thing over 100 likes. That'd be awesome. And don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.